Hi, my name's Ruan and this is my channel, The Yorkshire Sew Girl. I'm coming to you today with this. It's just been delivered by my postman. And I am working from home today, so even better. Um, for you that do not know, the UK is going through another heat wave. We don't know what's going on right now. We don't know whether we're coming or we're going. And that, that is why I've had to kind of do something with my hair because it's just all sticking to me. So I look a little bit weird today, don't I? tried a new hairstyle I'm not so sure whether it's working for me or not but anyway the kids are off well, you'll probably be able to hear them shouting in the background but they're okay they're safe and they have 20,131 snacks with them so we're good to go we're good to go today so yeah shall we shall we take a dive into the subscription box now I don't think for the last few that I've done I've kind of talked about <laughs> much about what so Haley Jane is and I know a lot of you guys that watch my channel regularly will probably be like, bore off Ruan. But for anybody who doesn't, um, So Haley Jane is a subscription box service for sewists. And there are three levels. There is a mini, a classic and a luxury. I have the classic, which is £35 a month, including postage. And I love it. So the luxury one's a little bit different. You get... Um, a designer fabric in there you also get a pattern in there you get an extra fat quarter things like that but i will put everything down below in the description box if you want to go and check it out for more details so there are different levels it's 20 pound 35 pound and 65 pound i think um but yes go and have a look down uh, in the description box below if you want to go and have a quick look at what is inside the boxes or you can flick back onto my channel and go back and you will see each month that i will do an unboxing and you can have a good look um because that's what i do as soon as i open this and then i see anybody else has uploaded i go and watch theirs random i know but i think there's a few of us that do that really even though we know what's in the box we want to see what people's reactions are like and sometimes there's different colorways of fabric as well so we want to go and have a nosy by the way i'm a bit sweaty i'm a i'm a bit sweaty my face is a bit sweaty i, I don't know what to do with myself i've got all my curtains and windows shut so that the sun doesn't shine in to try and keep the house as cool as possible but my children at the minute are just literally running around in pyjama shorts and nothing else. <laughs> That's what happens in the school holidays. We just, we don't care anymore. We live in free. Oh, and before I go any further, getting a bit better at this, I am wearing um, a dress that I made for the Frugal Frocks Challenge. That was the first year myself and Sam ran the challenge for using fabric from your stash and... A free pattern and i am making the wide strap maxi dress which is from the peppermint magazine so at the back it's excuse me see my bra straps because i've not adjusted it um but yeah it's um peppermint magazine wide strap maxi dress there we go got it all out and i've made mine in this linen viscose that was actually from a so Haley jane box a while ago I think it's one of the first ones that I actually got and I love it and I use the fabric in different ways to just jazz it up a little bit you know so there you go it's a little bit tighter than it was two years ago I'm not gonna lie <laughs> there's these little things that keep appearing here what are they we all have them so let's say put up here we are here is the box it's always in this beautiful yellow tissue paper with a little sticker on apologies for the ruffles rustling but Oh, I've seen the fabric. Hello, 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 hello. Let me put this here. Right, so the theme for this month is spots and dots. How cute is that? That's lovely. I won't go into too much detail about the magazine, but Haley always does a little introduction. She also tells you who's won a £15 voucher for the fold line. So every month, if you put a little bit, um, a little um, thing on your Instagram, on your stories, and I think the hashtag is SHJ Unboxing Ritual, if you tag that on, you go into a drawer and Haley picks you out. And I actually won it once. You get a £15 voucher towards some patterns from the fold line, which is very nice. We've also got, oh, we've got an interview with the Lemon Patch. So that is um, a woven label fabric company that I've seen recently um, online. So that'd be good. I want to have a look at that. Ooh, this is nice. So this is um, Siobhan 
I actually follow Siobhan, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, on Instagram. She is um, Siobhan Fern. People like to say Sayoban, don't they? But I'm one of them people that has a really weird name too, so yeah, it's all all right. She's made the Saguaro set by Friday Pattern Company. How nice is that? So that has been made up, I think, in the linen viscose that we got in one of our other boxes. It looks gorgeous. And I'm just about to make that, so I'm going to read this before I cut mine out. <laughs> then we've got three boxes, three makes. I'm not going to show you what those are, though, because I don't want you to see what the fabric is just yet. But you can see the luxury box. So let's have a look. Laura's done the luxury box this month. And it is, oh, an art gallery um, cotton. And she's made it into the Jennifer Lauren Kinfolk dress, which is a new pattern that's just come out. So that's interesting. Then there's my gorgeous girl, Tamlin, from Sewn on the Tyne. And this time, what has she made this time? Oh, she's made a lanyard. Now, I have to use a lanyard for work, and mine are rubbish. So actually, I'm thinking I might need to give this a go. Um, and she's made it in this gorgeous striped fabric, which might be a hint to the flat quarters this month. Absolutely love that. So I'm going to have a look at that. I'm going to try and make one of those up, I think, because mine's just boring. And I don't think that'll be too difficult a, a, a sew. But obviously Tamlin puts all the pictures with all the steps on to make it really easy. And then they're also looking at the moment at doing um, a live YouTube where they make the pattern up as well, which is really nice. Got my hair all sticking to me. What's going on? Um, oh, <clears throat> oh, and then we've also got Sew Your Stash for Free, which is also by Tamlin. And this is showing you by the looks of it um loads of different ideas to use with your fat quarters how good's that so we've got um a little bucket hat by waves and wild an ironing board cover i really need to do that i, I need to do an, i want a funky ironing board cover that might have to go on my list <laughs> my extensive list there's the crowning glory by waves and wild i would love to do those for christmas as well to have a bit more sustainability around the kitchen table when we come to have our christmas dinner there's a little pouch as well and also a little eye mask. So there's some other ideas on there for fat quarters, which is really good this time round. Then we have Hayley's little link. So this is where Hayley talks to you about what she's been watching recently, etc. She's been watching something called Blackbird on Apple TV. I don't have Apple TV. That looks really good. It's got Taryn Edgerton in it. Tell me he's not the cutest thing I've ever seen. Anyway, um, there's a National Trust book of scones. Now that looks dirty. <laughs> Naughty, naughty. And a book that um, she's been reading called The Midnight Library. Uh, yes, it's a book. Oh, well, I didn't know she was going to be the profiler, the subscriber this month. Look at this. So that's the lovely so Beck, What Beck Sews. And she made a gorgeous dress out of last month's luxury fabric, which was a bespoke colourway to So Hayley Jane. Um, she, I love her. We chat sometimes and that is because she likes outrageous colours like I do. I mean she she doesn't she doesn't go plain does she? She's a bit like me. So every time she does a fabric haul or anything I'm like ooh, ooh. and then there is um made my wardrobe. There's a little bit there. I'm not going to show you that because it's got a little discount code. So I'm assuming that is maybe the pattern in the luxury box. And then there's pattern picks as well from the fold line. So they've picked the Suaro set. Uh, a sunny visor and hat and the new Sovi sundress from Sew Out 7. I really like that. I keep looking at that, thinking, do I need to make that? <laughs> like I do all the time. And then there's the Makers Gallery, which I absolutely love. So we've got someone who's made a hexagon table runner with her um, fat quarter. Someone who has made some gorgeous dungarees in the strawberry fabric that I haven't managed to yet sew anything with. Um someone has made out of that gorgeous fabric from last month a little um off the shoulder top there's the lovely michelle from sewing bunny she's made a jumpsuit out of that linen as well and then there's made by madeline she has made some gorgeous pajamas in double gauze double gauze appreciation society <laughs> that's me and then in the back there's just a little bit about what's in it so right i've rabbited on for nearly 10 minutes. I really do apologise. Let's have a look what's in here. Let's go for the sweet treat first, shall we? So bearing in mind, it's spots and dots. And I saw a little hint of this anyway on her Instagram channel. 
tell me you love these as much as I do. <laughs> now I work in food and I sometimes go to an exhibition in Germany and it's just full of people that sell sweets and I've been on the stand opposite these guys and had to stare at these all day for a week once. But it's really good because at the end you just go around everybody and you just take a bag and everybody just swaps stuff. It's not good for the waistline, but you know, we've got to live our lives. Our little haberdashery gift is an invisible zip. That's actually, it's in grey as well, which is quite good because, I mean, an invisible zip, you should be able to put any colour in really, shouldn't you? Because you're not supposed to see it, but obviously you just see this little, the zipper pull. Um, but grey is quite a good colour actually because it goes with a lot, doesn't it? So that can go in my stash, which is good. I thought this might be the case. So we've got a little pack of labels. Sorry, the light's really bad. Let me take one out from the lemon patch who's done the interview. Um, I was hoping that might be the gift in here today. Let's have a look what this one says. I'm already in love. Well, I do love spots, it says. <laughs> oh, it's not focusing. It's probably because my face is in the way. Look at that. It's not doing it, is it? There we go. Well, I do love spots. It reminds me of 101 Dalmatians. And obviously with the spots theme, that is perfect. So they're gonna go in my little stash, love those. And to go with that, these are the fat quarters. Now I am a massive lover of black and white and I'm a massive lover of geometric prints as well. And when I saw Tamlin's lanyard tutorial then, I was like, yes. So how nice are these? So you've got a black one. Obviously, I only get four out of the five. So if you've got the luxury box, you get all five. So there's a black dotty one. There's like a bigger one, which is almost like pebbles, I think, or maybe giraffe print type of thing, which is lovely. Then you've got one that's more like a Dalmatian print, white with black spots this time, so the other way around. And then this gorgeous. I'm looking up there because my blind's a bit like this, but it's the other way around, so I've got white with the black on it but that's the other one and how nice do they go together and i think it's quite nice to get something that's a bit monochrome actually because for some people that don't like a lot of color that would make something up really nice wouldn't it you know like one of the pouches that tamlin had done or um the oven glove which i still need to do <laughs> need to do them all maybe i'll just have a year of just doing fat quarter projects but yeah i think that would be really nice as well for an oven glove that tamlin had done so they're the fat quarters. Here is my thread that gives you a hint. I don't know what other colourways there are or if there is any other colourways, but this is beautiful. Oh, we're red. Oh, look at that. Oh, how beautiful is that? So it's a double gauze. We all know how much I love double gauze. And it's got little gold dots all over it. And it is beautiful. Look at that. Now, I have had some of this fabric before in a different colour where you have to be very careful when you're pressing it with the gold dots. So do make sure that when you press it, if you want to press it, because some people don't want to press double gauze, that you do put a um, another layer in between your iron and this because you don't want to lose those beautiful gold dots. Now, when I see this type of fabric, as you know, all I can think about is pyjamas. But I also, I think I've mentioned before, saw Alyssa from By Alyssa uh, make a Lyra dress. <laughs> I can't believe I've said Lyra dress in this video as well. She made a Lyra dress in double goals and it was absolutely beautiful. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna make with this yet, but I think as well, coming into the autumn, I think that's quite nice because it's like a darker blue. It's like a it's not a navy but it's you know like a dark cornflower i can't really explain it but it's it's lovely it's like a dusky blue it's not really coming up 100 percent. maybe that's a bit better like a denim blue how many different ways can i come up with describing this color fabric but it looks beautiful quality it's incredibly soft and i think those little dots just give it that little extra oomph so I need to decide whether I want to make pyjamas or if I want to make something a bit more special. And I'm thinking this would be really nice around Christmas time as well with a little bit of gold sparkle on it. What do we think? Tell me what you would make with this fabric. I would love to hear in the comments section down below what you'd make with it. And don't forget, if you are interested in subscribing to the So Hayley Jane boxes, you can also get 10% discount off your first box by using the code RUAN10. 
think I might have pointed the right way for the first time ever. I'll put it there and I'll also put the link that you need to go through in the description box below. That is an affiliate link so I do get a little small commission should you choose to purchase but you don't have to spend any more money. There we go, the little sale spiel's done. So I hope everybody's well, I hope everybody's had time to do some lovely sewing and some time for themselves and I'll see you again soon on my next vlog. Bye!